The Bob's Merrill Company was a book publisher located in Indianapolis, Indiana. Topic: <laughs> Company history. The company began in 1850 October 3 when Samuel Merrill bought an Indianapolis bookstore and entered the publishing business. After his death in 1855, his son, Samuel Merrill Jr. continued the business. Soon after the Civil War the business became Merrill, Meigs, and Company, and in 1883 the name changed again to the Bowen Merrill Company. In 1903 the name became the Bob's Merrill Company, after longtime director, William Conrad Bob's. From 1899 through 1909, the company published 16 novels whose sales placed each of them among the nation's top 10 best selling books of the year for one or more years. The company was plaintiff in Bob's Merrill Co. v. Strauss, 210 U.S. 339 1908, a case regarded as the origin of copyright's first sale doctrine. Bob's Merrill was known for publishing such authors as Irving Goffman, Richard Halliburton, David Markson, Ayn Rand, James Wickham Riley, Walter Dean Myers, Irma S. Rombauer, and Keith Ayling. Of note, Keith Ayling wrote the story of Old Leatherneck of the Flying Tigers 1945. .Bob's Merrill also published the early works of fantasy writer L. Frank Baum. In 1949, Bob's Merrill commissioned artist Evelyn Kopelman to illustrate a new edition of The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, reprinted as The Wizard of Oz and The New Wizard of Oz. Kopelman's illustrations were more influenced by the 1939 Judy Garland MGM film version of the book than by W. W. Denslow's original 1900 illustrations, although the credits on the book stated otherwise. The year that Kopelman's illustrations first appeared, 1949, was also the year of the film's first re release. Bob's Merrill was also responsible for publishing the official records of the state of Indiana and texts in the history of philosophy. In 1959, the Howard W. Sams Company purchased Bob's Merrill. When Sams was acquired by Macmillan in 1985, the Bob's Merrill name ceased being used, with the exception of continued sales of the fifth revision of The Joy of Cooking, which continued to be a steady seller for Macmillan, as well as selected college division titles, such as the Library of Liberal Arts. See also Angus Cameron, publisher. Topic Footnotes. Topic Further reading. Jack Obar, The Origins and History of the Bob's Merrill Company, Occasional Papers, Graduate School of Library and Information Science, Publications Office, University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign 1985.